Working in a small company is very different than working at a big company. So I'm gonna highlight some of the differences. What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and I wanna help you become a data analyst. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe below. Let's get into it. I went from a very small company of about 50 people to a larger company of about 20,000 people. And there are some really big differences. One thing I noticed is that at a small company, I can get things done really, really quick because I have access to all the databases. I can just go and talk to the person who I need to talk to. Whereas at a large company, I may not have access to everything that I need to have access to, or the person is like in Canada or something, and I have to wait three days for them to email me back or get back to me on something. So working in a small company, I got things done a lot quicker and had a lot more control over the things that I needed to get done. At a small company, you're given access to just about everything. So I had access to every database, every server, and I could just go in and freely get what I needed to get. Whereas at a large company, they have a lot of restrictions. Right now, I only have access to like eight databases, which is just what I need to do my job. And if I do need to access another one, I have to ask for permission. I have to wait a few days for them to actually get back to me. Sometimes it takes even up to a week for me to get permission to access a database. And so it's just super time consuming and not really efficient. Another thing about a small company is you get to work on a lot of things. So you're working on sort of procedures, you're working with clients, you're working with programmers, maybe you're doing some front facing or user interface stuff. I wasn't a programmer who actually did, made those changes, but I got to QA a lot of that stuff. And so I was working on just about everything at a small company, which I really loved because I got to learn a lot of things that I wouldn't have learned if I just started out at a large company. Once I started working at a large company, I found that my work is very narrow, so I don't have a full picture of everything that we do. So sometimes I'm like, where are we getting that data for this product? Or how are we, how does this data get imported? Because I don't really have my hands in everything. It's hard to have a full picture of all the work that your company does or everything that your department does. Whereas at a smaller company, I knew what basically everything we were working on and I had my hand in just about everything. I think starting out, I actually am really happy that I started out at a small company because I got to learn so many different things that I never would have gotten to at a large company. So I'm actually really happy that I started small and was able to work my way up to a larger company because I don't think I'd be as skilled or know as much as I do now if I just started a large company right off the bat. Another big difference is gonna be salary and compensation and benefits and all that stuff. At a small company, you don't really get a ton of benefits. You get healthcare, but it's not really great healthcare and you often pay for it a lot because your company doesn't pay a ton towards it. Whereas at a large company, they'll pay a lot of your healthcare costs and it'll drive the cost down for you. A small company is really just gonna be salary based while the large company has lots of their perks and benefits like you know, stock options and 401k and all these other things. Whereas a small company, they really just don't have that. You know, they're 50 people and they make you know, 5 million a year instead of you know, your 20,000 people and they make 10 million a year revenue wise. So it's a really huge difference in terms of what you're gonna get. I think for the work that you do at a small company, you deserve more because you're probably doing a lot more different work and you probably work harder even. Whereas at the large company, you're doing a narrow thing, but your function at the large company is for that narrow thing for you to be amazing at it, not to be just good at all the things you do at the small company. So to me, that's really the difference in the salary. I just, you almost expect to get paid better at the big company. So that's not really a shocker to anybody. At a small company, you work with a lot of the higher ups. So I would talk to the CEO, the CIO, the directors all the time because we worked hand in hand. And a lot of stuff I was working on applied directly to what they needed, like to get contracts and all this, all this other work. So it was really cool working with the higher ups and seeing how they did everything and how it translated into the actual work, the day to day work that we did. Whereas at the large company, I talked to our CEO one time when he came into town. But other than that, I obviously would never work with him. I don't even work with our like senior directors. I mostly work with the managers and the project managers and maybe our director. A large company, the people at the top are, you know, they're at the top and they're, they don't do the grunt work like we do. Whereas at the small company, the people at the top are still doing a lot of the grunt work. And so you really are working with them day to day. Something that concerned me when I was at a small company is that they wanted to promote me. And normally that's a good thing, but I had my reservations about it because they wanted to promote me to my boss's level when he, and he was gonna get a promotion. And I felt like if I went to a director level when I was so young and I had no experience, that that would really hinder me trying to get out of that company. And so I would be moved over to this large company and they'd be like, why are you, why were you a director at this company? You know, you don't have the skill sets, you don't have the credentials. Over here, you're just gonna be a data analyst. And so 
in my resume, I'd have boop, 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 director, and then I'd drop down to a data analyst level. And to me, it really hurt my job prospects to work at a small company and work my way up like that. Where at a big company, I would just be a lower level. And so in my mind, at least, I didn't like that, which is another reason why I didn't stay at the small company, even though I knew they wanted to promote me. I wanted to go to a larger company and get my foot in the door at a lower level to work my way up there. So there you go. Those are kind of the highlights, the big differences that I can think of between a small company and a big company. That's my experience at least. That may or may not be your experience. If you have a different experience, please leave a comment below. I really am interested in hearing about that because I think everybody has a unique perspective. So if you have a different experience or you know the same, just let me know about it. I'm really interested. And with that, I am out. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe below and have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.